So in this video, we're going to go ahead and write a simple C program in the 211 BSD version of Unix on the PIDP11. Uh, I've set my sense switches to 0102. I've booted the machine. You can see the boot up sequence here. Uh, I've also gone in to this configuration and I've, I've got it hooked up for networking. So it is on my network. Uh, you can see I reset the switches here. The machine began to boot. I took the default here, a device for the boot. It booted on through. It got to the little pound sign here is the operator console. I hit control D to finish the boot and bring the system up uh, in multi-user. So the system's up and running in multi-user. Rather than sit here and use the Mobitech terminal, I'm actually going to do this with TerraTerm. TerraTerm is another free terminal emulator. I happen to have it installed. It's the one I've traditionally used. So let's go ahead and set this up. Uh, that's actually not what I wanted. Set up. Terminal. Actually, this was what I wanted. So I'm going to just use the standard 80 by 24 setting on the terminal. These are all that should be all the defaults. Carriage return, carriage return for the new line. I'm going to use a VT100 terminal ID. I believe this is all the defaults, but, but there's the setup for the terminal setup. I'm going to bump the font up just to make this a little, e little easier for you guys to read. Uh, you know, it's got a terminal font. We'll leave it with the terminal font. I don't know if we can go bigger than 14 or not. Let's see what happens if I go out to 20. That gets us a pretty good size. So this is an 80 by 24 column display. It's very much like being on an old school VT100 terminal. Next thing I want to do is connect. So remember, uh, on my machine, when I set up networking on the 211 BSD Unix, I put the machine on my home network at this IP address. Oh, excuse me. This will, <clears throat> excuse me. This will be a Telnet connection. It's going to be on TCP port 23, the default for Telnet. Two, and this is actually connecting to the uh, 211 BS, BSD Unix system. Uh, you can leave the protocol unspecified and let's go ahead and ask it to connect and it's connected. And I have created a user and set him up inside of BSD so that I have a, a user account to do the work from. This is logging me in. We're logged in. That font's pretty clunky. Don't know that I like that font. So let's play with the font a bit here. Let's go back to the font. What else is available here? Let's try Courier New. Let's see if oh, that's much better. So Courier New, I think that's a much better font at 20 point. So we can see that I've gotten logged in here using TerraTerm as a, uh, a Telnet connection to the machine. If we go back to the MobiTerm, we're in the operator console. We should have seen a login message here, but apparently we didn't, or it's scrambled up here someplace. Well, typically you see a, a login message, and maybe it's buried there. But anyhow, we're in. We've got a shell in, ter in TerraTerm. Let's go ahead and see what's here. There's a C folder. I'm going to CD into that folder. If I do a print working directory, we can see the path where I'm at. From the home, I'm in my personal folder and a C subfolder in it. If we do an ls, we can see that I've been playing with some other software here, but we're going to write a, a, a version of Hello World from scratch here. I'm going to use the Vi Editor. We've talked about it before, but I'll again give you instructions in this video. And I'm going to call this Hello World 1.c. So we're going to use Vi. What you'll see here when the Vi comes up, and this is exactly what I expected to see. It's an empty file. My cursor's up here at the top of the file, ready to do something. The tildes are all blank lines, and it gives me some information down here about what's going on. Uh, right now, if I type, the machine just beeps because it, it's sitting here in command mode. I have to hit the I key to do insert. There it is. Didn't have focus. The I key to, to do uh, to put it in insert mode, and now I can start typing in code. So we're going to include. Stdio.h, that's the standard I.O. library. I'm just hitting enter here to get down to a new line. I'm not going to return a error or success code. 
course, in C programs, main is where you begin execution. And we'll do a printf. Hello world. We'll end the main function, and, and there's our little program. So right now I'm in insert mode. I need to get back to command mode, and I do that by pressing the escape key. Now notice there was no interaction on the screen, but I'm back to the escape key. I can now hit a colon, and you should have seen down here that that message changed to a colon, and I can give it commands now. I'm going to tell it to write the file out, and I'm going to quit. And it tells me it wrote a new file out, seven lines. If we want to, we can cat hello world one dot c. That'll type it to the screen. And let's compile it and see if it compiles. CC hello world one dot c. And in this case, I want the output. It needs to be no the output. So dash o, and I'm going to send it hello world one dot out. This will compile here. I've got lots of nice blinking lights on the machine. If we can do an ls, we can see we've got hello world one dot out. Let's go ahead and run it. World one dot out. And we see our hello world here, but it didn't go to a new line, so we're going to use vi to fix that. Uh, note that typically in Unix you need to do a to actually run a program. In most Unixes, uh, BSD apparently doesn't have that requirement. But again, that's the more typical syntax for running a program uh, in your folder. But let's go back and find our vi command. And let's go ahead and update the program. So we'll get vi started back up. Right now, I'm in cursor mode where I can move the cursor around using the cursor keys on the keyboard. I'm going to position the cursor out here where I want to insert characters. I'm going to press the I key. And I'm going to type in the new characters, do a new line. Hit escape again to get back to a control mode, colon, write and quit. And it output it again. Let's find our CC line where we compiled it. And let's run it. Hello world one dot out. And there it is. We now got a new line, so that worked. So let's go ahead and play in Vi a little bit more and look at some of the other things we can do. Again, I'm in cursor mode here. I'm going to insert something. I'm going to hit escape for back in cursor mode. And I'm going to put the cursor at the beginning of this line. If I press DD, it'll delete the line. So DD gives you the ability to delete a line. <sighs> Say I wanted to change the wor word world to universe. So again, I'm in cursor mode where I can move around the file. The X key will delete single characters every time I press it. Now I can hit the I key, the I key to insert. And we're going to say hello to the universe instead. Again, escape to get back to control mode, colon, write and quit. Let's compile it. Let's run it. And hello universe. Awesome, that worked. Uh, let's go ahead and do a little bit more here in Vi. So I, I, I want to put a new line in here. And I can do that by hitting I to insert and just hitting the enter key. Okay, you just saw me screw up there. Where that A come from was I forgot to put it back in command or command mode and I pressed one of the cursor keys on the keyboard. If I press the cursor keys, you'll see this random. That's a mistake. I didn't want to do that. So let's get rid of those. I'm going to hit escape and I'm going to come back here and I'm going to hit DD to delete that line. DD, 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 DD. DD. And what I wanted to do was insert a new line. I'm going to bring the cursor up. I've got to hit I again to get back into insert mode. We're going to create an integer variable. We'll just call it I. Since we're in insert mode, I can hit uh, enter to add a new line. We'll do 4. 
i equals zero, i less than 10, i plus plus, I'm going to put in, oh, I did it again. I just went straight to the cursor key without hitting escape. So I'll hit escape to get back in control. I'll use DD to delete the line accidentally inserted. Bring the cursor down here. I've hit I to insert. I'm going to put in two spaces. I'm going to hit escape again to get back to cursor mode. I'm going to hit I again to put me in insert mode. I'm going to put a blank line in. Did it again. I keep forgetting to hit escape and I'm hitting the cursor keys. Escape to get back control. DD. Insert. So that's kind of frustrating. I haven't done anything on Vi for so long that it's just not natural at this point. But we're going to print out the Hello Universe message, you know, 10 times here. Uh, let's actually be a little more sophisticated. And let's actually print out that integer variable. So I've moved the cursor over to here. I had to insert. We're going to output a, uh, an integer variable at that point. I'm going to hit escape to get the cursor key back. It's back here. I'm going to hit I again to insert, comma, I. So we can print that variable out to the screen. I'm going to hit escape, colon. Oops. I'm going to write the file, and then I want to quit. Go ahead and compile it. Let's go ahead and run it. And there it is. So, you know, we're making nice little progress here on our little simple C project. Is there anything else we want to do in this one? Uh, you know, I've just touched on the very basics of, of Vi here. Let's go ahead and exit out here, colon quit. And let's bring up the man page. So man is short for manual for the Vi editor. This is how you get help in the command line here. I'm going to, you know, man is get me the manual page for Vi. And Vi will come up here, and it will start to give us information on Vi. It's a screen-oriented visual display editor based on X. A uh, little bit of help here. We're 36% through the file. I'll hit spacebar to bring up the next page. Apparently, William Joy wrote it. Software tabs using caret T work only. And that's interesting. Left and right shifts on intelligent T boards. Don't make use of insert and delete. It's giving us all kinds of notes here. So there wasn't a whole lot else here. There wasn't a tutorial on man or on Vi as much as there was some stuff to do here. Uh, you know, to use these on a global, you must use Q to X command mode, etc. Uh, so anyhow, you know, there's some instructions here. You know, you know, if we look at the man page for copy, we'll get a whole lot more information. You know, command line syntax, file one is copied to file two, uh, different options, I and R. So man can be your friend. Uh, let's go back and put something else in here. I'm going to actually add a second integer variable. I'm going to insert comma J, hit escape. I'm going to get down to the beginning of this line. I'm going to hit insert to put in a new line. Hit the cursor key again. Delete that X out. Oops. I to get back and insert. For J equals 0. J less than 10 again. J plus plus. I've hit escape to get the cursor control back. Insert. I'm going to put a squiggly there. Hit escape to get control back. I to insert. Put in two spaces. Hit escape again. Come down to this line. Hit I to insert. I want to put a new line in. I'm really good at that. So I've hit escape to get back control. DD to remove that line. Cursor up. Insert. So no comments on the structure of my C code here. I'm just writing very basic C code uh, just to have something to play with. Hit escape again. We're going to output percent D. I'm going to insert here, comma, 
percent D comma percent D escape I'm gonna add some variables here insert I hit the I key one out print out J oops backspace comma and I times J escape colon right quit Let's actually scroll back to the CC line. I'm too lazy to type it. I'm using the up and down arrow keys when I'm in the pure terminal to scroll up and down uh, through previous commands. That's a really nice feature in the 211 BSD. Low world one dot out. And we saw it run there. And okay, let's take this a little bit further. Uh, Talk about a little bit more about C syntax. What if I wanted these columns to be more consistent uh, for like the numeric spacing and stuff? So let's go ahead and play a little bit more with the C program here. I'm going to bring it back up in Vi. I'm going to insert another character here. Do 100. Hit Escape. Cursor down. Hit I to insert another character here. Hit escape to come down. I'm going to hit I here again to insert, and I'm going to make that three wide. So that, that says we're going to print an integer, the percent D, and I want it to always be three characters wide. It won't zero fill, it'll space fill, which is really nice. Hit escape again to get the cursor back. Hit I to insert, insert my three, escape to get the cursor back. I to insert. Now in this case 100 times 100 uh, is going to be more than four characters. It's going to be what? I can't do the math here in my head. 10,000. So I'm going to make this five wide. So I'm going to, I'm in insert mode. I'm going to hit the five. If it escape to get control back, colon, right quit. And let's see if that gives us a little bit better formatting. Compile it again. Run it again. And look at that. We have nice column formatting. Just let this keep cranking away here. Uh, it, the commas are all nice and lined up. The indent on the numbers is consistent. It's getting close to the end. We'll just let it keep cranking here. So old school C like this is uh, what I grew up on. Uh, it's the language I still think the most in when I'm programming, even though I work in C++ and C Sharp and PowerShell and all the other things. I still, deep in my heart, C is just the language, and it always will be. So anyhow, I probably rambled on enough. This is probably enough of a demonstration. Hopefully it'll get you started writing C code get you started uh, using the Vi Editor in the 211 BSD build. I've posted a previous video on the work I did to get my 211 BSD actually on my home network so I could tell that, excuse me, directly to it. If you haven't seen that video, uh, take a look if it interests you. And I guess I'll wrap up. We'll talk soon.